change is really scary for everyone. The whole industry knows that it, you know, there's, it needs to transform. We are exploring speeds of products and materials. So not just stop with the design from the product, but also think about what happens after that garment has been sold. We can already now see a huge variety of, of different kind of fabric you can get out of wood, for instance. If there is a big demand after um, fast fashion, but we are continuing to create polyester-based products for fast fashion, that is not sustainable, that's the key issue. The team is exploring with the paper textiles, it feels like uh, fabric. Uh, but the whole intent is that the production is much uh, more sustainable, leaner, faster and more efficient. But mixing that with recycling, but also the synthetic materials where you can make sure that the, these materials can stay in a technical cycle within circular economy. Um, but then you will have those with shorter cycles that, like Sigrid said, we wash, we, you cannot wash them, you will put them in the compost and they will go back to being, um, being what do you call it? Jord. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to nature. Going back to nature. <laughs> to, to. The setup, the system as it is now is not right. It doesn't, it it's not make sense, it's wrong. You need a lot of passion, uh, you need a lot of patience as well, and you need courage.